Next at 11, an exclusive investigation. Several local homeowners being forced out. They say they were scammed out of their homes by someone they met at church. Then what are you really feeding your pet? Disgusting allegations about what's in the food you and I buy for our dogs and cats. Just how far will the UM transplant team go to recover an organ? I'm Brian Andrews in a Learjet heading to Idaho. We'll take you along on this special mission coming up next. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. Ready to do this? Yes. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. <laughs> CBS 4 News Tonight starts right now. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 11. Right now at 11, a CBS 4 News exclusive, just an outrageous story. People scammed out of their homes. They became victims in, of all places, a church. Lawyer well, it's almost time to say goodbye. Oh, I can't this wonderful it. lady's departure has brought a lot of pride, a lot of tears to CBS4. But before you sign off for the last time, I want to take a look back at the mark you've left on us, on the station, and on this community. Here it is. Even though she's born and raised in Miami and reported news from around the world, there's only one place CBS4 news anchor Maggie Rodriguez wants to be. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Maggie CBS4 Rodriguez. CBS4 news anchor Maggie Rodriguez. <laughs> Okay, maybe there's another place she wants to be. I'm in a New York state of mind. Maggie, congratulations on all your success at WFOR. Yeah, we're really looking forward to working with you, and we are so happy to welcome you to New York. We know you're going to miss Miami, but you're really going to love the Big Apple. And we promise you'll learn to love getting up early. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. After seven years at WFOR, Maggie is moving on up to the east side. New York City, here she comes. Starting June 2nd, she'll be co-anchoring the Saturday edition of the CBS Early Show. It even has Washington buzzing. However, we look forward to watching her on Saturday mornings nationwide. We all remember the aftermath of Katrina. Maggie has left an indelible mark on CBS 4 and on her hometown from guiding us through some of the toughest hurricanes. To the that means under 30 hours it was continuously pounding Cancun and Cozumel. Reverse 911 system. To exclusives with Miami's power players. A very candid Ariola sat down with me at his home. So what would it take for you to leave your post? To heartbreaking one-on-ones, an exclusive with the parents of accused killer Michael Hernandez. Is he remorseful? I don't know really how to answer that because we really don't talk about it. To prison and inside the mind of a woman who took the life of her own child. Do you feel that what happened to your baby had anything to do with what happened to you? Maggie has had the inside track on the stories that affected South Florida the most. A historic announcement tops the news tonight at 11. Cuba has a new leader for the first time in 47 years. A defining moment, the award-winning continuing coverage of the transfer of power from Fidel Castro to his brother Raul. And it was a very nonchalant announcement read from a script. To the fun when Maggie showed her love of the game. Yes, for the Dallas Mavericks, it's do or die. And her adventurous side in the Aussie Outback. I got up at 5.30 in the morning. And we can't forget her compassion for our community. While we'll miss her smile, her energy, her smarts the most, we at CBS4 wish Maggie only success and happiness as she takes the next step in what can only be called a stellar career. And Maggie, we're proud to say we've enjoyed the ride with you. Two. Wow, we are so proud of you, and you've heard accolades, you know, from us all day long. But well, before you go, I mean, come on, take it. This now. is not. This is not going to take mm -hmm, long. Mm -hmm. We've got some emails from our viewers. I'm going to read the first one. Uh, Jim and David are also going to read one. I'm going to read this one from Kathleen Lewis and Margate, who writes, "Quote: I will miss you and your ever-present smile on CBS4 News. You are as kind and gracious as you are beautiful." Oh, thank you. <clears throat> that is so true. Heidi, Casey, and Margate says you have a contagious smile and wonderful on-air personality. Don't we all know that? You're going to be missed, but we will be sure to watch you on Saturday mornings. And God bless you and your lovely family. Thank and Marlena you. Rodriguez in Coral Gables. Hey, writes, that's my cousin. Your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Words cannot express how proud I am to see one of Miami's own represent our community nationwide. Congratulations, uh, Maggie. Even the family is proud. She's huh? faking it like she's not family. Uh, you guys. We all love you.
You guys have given me the best day and the best seven years of my life. I love you so much. Oh, but you know what? And I will never work with another group of people of your caliber. Seriously. Well, great people, you. great professionals, and I love you, South Florida. We're proud thank of you. you. You know what? You're leaving you. CBS 4 News, but you're not leaving CBS, CBS. 4. Yes, right. You're going to be right. explain that because people need to know that. Yeah, you'll yeah. still see me every day on CBS 4, if not on the early show, then on the one that I'll be anchoring, which is the Saturday early show. So I hope that you will watch because okay. I'll still be on this station Absolutely. because this is my station. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got an idea real quick. Group hug. Oh. 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 See you later, man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. I got to say it one more time. That does it for CBS 4 News tonight. David Letterman is coming up next. For Elliot Rodriguez, Jim Barry, David Bernard, all of us here at CBS 4 News. I'm Mackie Rodriguez on the SAP. I'm sorry. Oh, it's been a pleasure night. and an honor. Good night, everybody. Don't miss her on the CBS Early Show. <laughs>